Hello. Today we're going to cover the tea times best practices for technicians on the tablet. By following these best practices, the technician efficiency tracking report will be as accurate as possible and provide the team with the insights to run more efficiently and to make sure that we can eliminate wasted time, which will help you get more billable hours complete within a day. There are three times we're going to be calculating clock time, work time, and build time. Let's start with the clock time. Starting on your tablet at the beginning of the day, the first thing you'll want to do when you arrive is clock in. Once clocked in, the only other clock times you'll need to remember are clocking out for lunch, clocking back in from lunch, and then making sure to clock out at the end of the day. My recommended habit is to plug your tablet in at the end of the day on your toolbox and have that be your reminder to clock out at the same time. Next, we'll talk about work time. This time is tracking how long you are working on a specific work order. Once you open a repair order from your tablet, this will start the worked time timer. While the vehicle is open, your work time will be accumulating automatically in the background. When you pause working on this vehicle, finish working on the vehicle, or move on to a different vehicle, you can hit the save or submit button. Save if you are not complete with all authorized labor lines, submit if you are completely done with the vehicle, and all authorized labor lines have been complete. Once on your active screen, you are not logged into any repair order and are not accumulating work time. Next is your build hours. This is tracked primarily by your completion percentages at the bottom of each labor line. Upon marking a percentage complete on a labor line, you will immediately be credited that time. To get credit and to get paid for a labor line, they must be marked 100% complete before submitting or finishing the vehicle. I recommend the habit of before you hand the keys off to the service advisor or hit the submit button, please review all authorized jobs and make sure they are marked 100% complete. The job timer for individual labor lines is not calculated towards your build hours or your work time. This is a standalone timer simply used to track the amount of time you've spent on a particular labor line. One final note, if you are doing a non-billable activity, you can use your tea times dropdown and select a non-billable time that you are spending time on, whether it's cleaning your shop, buying tools on the snap-on truck, or maybe you want to indicate to the service advisor you're ready for additional work, or any other activity you might be taking. If you don't see an activity here, I recommend you ask your advisor or manager to add a new tea time. As a general rule of thumb, I recommend you either be logged into a vehicle by again selecting that vehicle, or be logged into a tea time. That way, at any given point, you have a trackable activity that you are working on. Thanks for watching. Thank you.